Item number, SCP-1846. Object class, Euclid Exequy. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1846 is to be kept in a Type 3 humanoid containment cell at Site-17. SCP-1846's cell shares a wall with the exterior of the facility. Sensors on the outside of the facility are to measure variations in wind speed at points directly exterior to SCP-1846's cell. Values between 60 and 80 km per hour are normal. Readings outside of this range are to be reported to the Site Director and SCP-1846. Effective containment of SCP-1846 is only possible when it is surrounded by reinforced glass, concrete, or any structural material formed from granular materials such as sand and gravel. This is a non-issue while SCP-1846 is at Site-17. However, SCP-1846 may not leave Site-17 unless it is surrounded entirely by reinforced glass or concrete. SCP-1846 may only be given food composed entirely of maize and maize products. Should SCP-1846 fail to cooperate with Foundation personnel, it is to be fed corn syrup. Otherwise, it is to be fed whole ears of maize. Description SCP-1846 resembles a Caucasian human male approximately 50 years of age. However, SCP-1846's exterior is covered entirely in living maize, classification Zia maize, leaves that grow from its subdermal layer. These leaves do not undergo photosynthesis, consume nutrients, or serve any obvious purpose. It is assumed that they are purely ornamental. The subject is capable of subsisting on a diet composed entirely of maize, and will experience symptoms of malnutrition if it is fed a diet composed of any other foods. Any plants of the species Zia maize that come into contact with SCP-1846 will produce abnormally nutritious ears, compared to test plants, and live approximately four times as long. SCP-1846 does not have control over this effect. This does not have an adverse effect on the soil in which the maize is grown. When SCP-1846 is surrounded by any material not formed from granular materials, an unidentified force will invariably cause catastrophic damage to said material, apparently in order to clear a path between the sky and SCP-1846. Should such a path exist, this force will attempt to abduct SCP-1846. However, SCP-1846 is capable of resisting this force to a limited degree, typically being forced upwards at 0.5 meters per second. Surrounding SCP-1846 with glass or concrete results in a downdraft between 60 and 80 km per hour centered on the subject. While this can cause damage to the subject's surroundings, it is not sufficient to breach SCP-1846's containment. SCP-1846 has not displayed any aggressive tendencies and is generally cooperative with Foundation personnel. Addendum All evidence indicates that prior to SCP-1846 was physically indistinguishable from a human being and did not display anomalous properties beyond its dietary needs and effect on maize. The only existing records of SCP-1846 are of its employment at the lobbying firm under the name Clint Holton. Current and former employees reported little unusual behavior from SCP-1846, although none were knowledgeable about the subject's activities outside of working hours. SCP-1846's other properties manifested on during a business meeting with U.S. Senator at the latter's private residence. The Senator called local authorities after SCP-1846 spontaneously developed its covering of maize leaves, after which significant damage was inflicted upon the Senator's residence. SCP-1846 was able to take shelter in the home's fallout shelter until the arrival of the Foundation. Excerpt from Interview Log 1846-2 Voices identified, SCP-1846 and Dr. Really, the gist of it is that I'm an angel. Not for any god that people still worship, though. And obviously not the type where it's just a person with wings. Which god, then? He calls himself Cirknabotif. That's S-R-Q-N-A-B-O-T-F. Capital S. I think the last group to worship him died a bit before the Spanish came over. He's a corn god, and well, he's THE god. I don't think there are any others. I see. And may I assume that your properties are a result of working for a corn deity? You may. Working for a corn god makes me a corn angel, of course. My job, see, was to lobby for higher subsidies to corn growers. Chose the job myself. It's what sustains them, you know? Corn being grown and used. I suppose that makes sense. Are there any more of you? <laughs> well, there were. See, what happened to me happened to all them, too. 
they were all out in the fields, fucking the corn or whatever it is they do when it happened. And they got sucked in the sky straight away. Maybe there was something about it in the news. When you say it, I assume you refer to your development of several other properties? Could you explain why that happened? How do I explain this to you? It's like the rapture. Cirque Nabotov decided that he's going to end things as soon as he can get all of us angels off of Earth. So he made us revert to our true forms. Capitalized true and forms. And dragged most of us up. Odds are he's just waiting on me and maybe some other lucky soul. Then things are gonna happen. I get the feeling it would be more suitable to explore that scenario in the next interview. For now though, could you explain why you were protected? Sure. Well, Sir Nabotov has all the powers of a god, of course. But he doesn't have the keenest sense of time. He doesn't quite understand how it is that humans can make things. I don't quite see the connection. When he sees wood or stone or metal getting in the way of trying to drag me upstairs, he knows that he needs to rip it away since those things are strong. But when he sees concrete or glass, he thinks it's gravel or sand. So he blows on it to get it out of the way, and I don't think he's realized that it's not working yet. Seriously. <laughs> don't get me started. Really, he knows less about the world than a human kid, and somehow he's the one who has dominion. Mind if I give you a tip? Go ahead. Buy lots of corn. Eat lots of corn. Invest in corn. And I'm not just saying that because it's my job. Your lot in the afterlife is really just a function of how much corn you grow or make use of. Which is kind of bullshit when you think about it, because that means that everyone who lived in Eurasia before the Columbian Exchange is currently having their arteries torn apart by popcorn kernels constant- I get the picture. Sorry. SCP-1846's claims have not been verified, and may be unverifiable. Personnel are reminded to exercise skepticism when reviewing SCP-1846's claims.